Ho, ho, ho. Today's Christmas spot. We're going to be looking, and I'm going to be ranting about Mr. Bean, the merry mishaps of Mr. Bean. And you're looking at this and you're thinking, what is that? It is a videotape. It is a videotape. The reason for it is what leads into my rant. It's just a little bit of a rant, but it's a rant nonetheless. First of all, just a, a I want to talk about the Mr. Bean Christmas. This is something I always watch at Christmas time. No matter what, there are some Christmas specials I try to watch, and then for one reason or another, I don't end up getting a chance to watch them. Um, some staples for me are usually like the National Lampoon's Christmas. I watch Mr. Bean's Christmas. I watch the 51 classic of Christmas Carol with Alistair Sim. Um, I try to watch the Claymation Christmas, but I don't always get a chance to watch that. Um, but something I always watch, and I generally always try to watch at Christmas Eve, I try to watch the Mickey, Mickey's Christmas Carol, and I always try to watch Mr. Bean's Christmas um, on Christmas Eve, just before I go to bed. And I've done that since I was actually young. Uh, Mr. Bean, I first watched on TV, finally picked it up in a videotape, of all things, and uh, basically tells the story of Mr. Bean, once again, finding interesting ways around situations um, between finding the perfect tree, the perfect tree ending up being the town, I guess the town uh, Christmas tree, finding Christmas balls. He acts out a very cool scene in the, in the store with some uh, figurines, uh, buying a giant turkey, having his girlfriend over, and hilarity ensues. Um, but a classic staple. I would say, you know, if you're a Mr. Bean fan, you probably... I don't have to preach the gospel. You've seen this yourself. You know how entertaining the merry mishaps of Mr. Bean is. Which then leads me into my rant, which is unfortunately the downside to this video, at least. Um, and that's the fact that this lone videotape, this videotape you see right here, is the only way you can watch the merry mishaps of Mr. Bean. And just before anybody put, puts a comment down below, hey Spot, no man, there is the Merry Mishaps of Mr. Bean on DVD as well. There is. However, if I bring in the original DVD set of Mr. Bean, uh, just pan the camera up there, um, the Rowan Atkinson Mr. Bean the Whole Bean um, contains actually all the Christmas, or all the, the specials all the delightful specials that Mr. Bean was in. Uh, one of which, if I can find the right volume here, uh, one of which is, and it's probably like the last one. There it is right there. The last volume is the Merry Christmas Mr. Bean, Episode 7. Well, for anyone who owns this set, for anyone who has actually picked up the Mr. Bean set, um, if you had actually put this in at Christmas time like I did, and luckily, good thing for me that I actually kept this videotape. Um, but if for anyone who's watched this, and I'm going to... There are spoilers, or if you haven't seen the Mr. Bean Christmas, it's up to you whether you want to continue to watch this. But just to mention, I need to compare the two, so I might mention some crucial scenes uh, in the Christmas special. The only downside is when you put this DVD in, I would certainly advise taking it out of the case before you put it in the DVD player. Um, the... The episode plays out fine, um, up to the point that he actually goes and buys the turkey. And if you've watched the original, and also the one that they air on TV, uh, Mr. Bean goes up to weigh the turkey, and you have to guess the weight of the turkey. Uh, the one who's closest wins this giant turkey. Well, Mr. Bean, in Mr. Bean fashion, uh, goes up to the, the area where he can weigh the turkey. And it so ends up happening that he's standing on a scale. He holds the turkey, he looks down, you know, writes the weight down, and then he gets off, he puts the turkey down, looks at the, the weight again, and calculates out the exact, even with decimal place, the exact weight of the turkey. And you're saying, well, why, why am I bringing this key point up? The reason why I'm bringing it up is because while that scene is in the original video version, and the televised version, it is actually not in the DVD version of Mr. Bean. 
they cut it completely out. I don't know why. What ends up happening is, I'm trying to think here, because it's been a while since I've actually watched the DVD version, but they cut out that scene, and instead, when he's driving away with the tree, I think it says end of scene one or end of scene. And then they start the scene afterwards with him in his apartment. That or may or may not be right, but they essentially take out footage of the of the episode, which really raises the question. Usually DVDs, you always get extra footage. You know, you always get the stuff that they cut out. You always get extra featurettes and stuff like that. Whose idea was it to take a beloved classic like the Merry Mishaps of Mr. Bean, put it on here as Merry Christmas Mr. Bean, and take out the entire scene with him weighing the turkey? Very disappointing. Well, this wasn't the this wasn't the end of my journey, I'm afraid, because they also released a Mr. Bean Ultimate Collection, which actually features the exact same episodes as this uh, box set. Um, it also does include episodes of the cartoon. It also includes some additional information, uh, some additional scenes. Um, it also has Mr. Bean and Mr. Bean's Holiday, so both movies. If you didn't get a chance to pick them up individually. Um, it has so much. And what is it not having, though? I, can, I don't even know if I can find the... Because this is quite a beefy volume here. Um, it doesn't have... There we go. It has Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. But do you think, being that it's the Ultimate Collection, that it's going to have this version of Mr. Bean? Oh, no, 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 not my friend. They actually have the exact same version as the original box set. They've cut the turkey scene out completely. Completely. Why, why? Whose bright idea was it? I really don't know. So two box sets down and still not giving us the original version of the Merry Mishaps of Mr. Bean. At one point I got so frustrated, I actually just threw it onto DVD. Um, just transferred it over to a DVD. But it's still not the same, it's quite grainy. So usually I always resort back to the video version of Mr. Bean. It's one of the only times that I'll actually go through. And aside from the Witch's Night Out at Halloween, it's so it's funny that all this stuff falls on holidays. Um, Mr. Bean is the only other time I pop in a videotape to watch a movie. So whoever makes these videos, anybody, like A&E, I guess A and E we can uh, we can thank for this. If somebody could just kindly, kindly, from one reviewer pleading to you, if somebody could just release the Mr. Bean, Merry Mishaps of Mr. Bean in its entirety on DVD, that would be that would make for one heck of a Christmas. Cause uh I I don't think I've ever watched the Christmas special on either version of well, aside from the original watching of it, getting disappointed and then saying, oh, but uh, since then, I think I've always watched my Christmas special on the VHS tape. So today's Christmas spot, <laughs> Christmas spots, we were actually having a look and I was beefing about the merry mishaps of Mr. Bean. Two sets down and still not the original version in its entirety. If you wanting the Christmas special, look no further than the VHS version, or try to catch it when it's on TV. But uh, if you have these sets, you probably know the same frustration that this reviewer has. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around and listening to my rant. And I'll see you guys next time.